Thank you for checking out the channel, Manny B Investing. Make sure you hit that subscribe. Make sure you hit the like on the video and share it with your friends. And also follow us on Twitter at Manny B Gaming. So what I did here is I've been learning technical analysis. I've set up some buying and selling zones here on this chart. And I did that on October 15th. I, based on my setup, I figured, hey, this is going to rebound and shoot upward and we'll land somewhere in here. Um, I had it across a decent little price range, but I was looking at more like 12 cents or not 12 cents, but 1.2, um, 1.27 actually is what I was looking at. So I set up my uh, sell order. Then I did my charting and I was like, oh, my sell order is pretty good. So I'll leave it as is. All right. Fast forward to today. Let's see what we ended up with. Boom. And we shot up big time. Hindsight setting it at the top end, setting it at 13. Even if I would have put it at 14 or one four, we would have been good. We would have been in big money, but I'm not complaining. We made money here. We bought down in here this is where we bought in in this area here during this ride and I held put my buy orders in and I sold so that's what you want to do you want to buy low sell high and you just keep riding you keep buying low you keep selling high and hopefully you don't get wrecked but and also you don't want to get left too you don't want to sell your bag that you know what you think is a high point and then it just goes parabolic and you're left on earth you want to go to the moon so you want to keep well at least what i've learned uh you want to keep like a real bag and you want to keep like a trading bag if you can get 50 50 in value awesome if you can't just do your best but let's take a look at what paribus is talking about today they posted they didn't post they actually retreated here's the top gainers of the day and of course, they're on the list. So we got three KuCoin projects, Uniswap, and I don't know what that is. So I've heard of them. I've literally never heard of these other ones. So that's interesting that they were they were on top gainers. I don't know if they remained at the top. Um, got to be a way to tell. Let's see. Top gainers. Yeah, it's hard with these big gainers like these these coins. I mean, I saw a coin on there the other day that did like 40,000%. It's kind of ridiculous. Let's see if we can get more and get a, a more legitimate list of like legit projects. All right. They actually ended up doing pretty dang good. 70%. I don't think Paribus did that well at the end of the day. Let's go back. Yeah. It's good for 16%. I'm not going to complain about that. 16% is good. But if you sold earlier, then you think you were good as much as 30%. I think we hit like 30 something percent um, earlier. I noticed the max or the circulating supply data is in now. I also believe we are finally starting to get 30 day moving average data on the charts now, which is pretty cool. Uh, not on that chart. But that's cool. We're starting to get this data here. So total supply versus circulating. Um, and this I want to say is wrong. I want to say in the Telegram group, one of the founders said that there was about 800 um, million TBX in circulation because they did a token release, like 250 million tokens they released, which is not showing up here. And I don't, honestly, I don't even think it's reflecting in the price, but we'll see. We'll probably get some sort of retrace here off of this last or this move for today, uh, just based on the fact that we're going to have a lot more coins uh, factored in. So we're lagged a little bit as far as the data goes, because the project is so small, so new, so low cap. I mean, look at that. Six million dollar market cap for a project that is tooled up like any of the top 20 projects. And this is just really, really cool. And look where it's available, two places. 
KuCoin and Uniswap. When I tell you we're early, we are early, man. We are really early. So, again, a couple of things going on. We're tracking price now. We got our moving average. Our 30-day moving average is starting to, to become a real thing. I'm plotting buy and selling zones. I'm learning more and more things. If you have something that you think we can add learn about please please drop a comment i've been doing fibs um i've been plotting my my zones of the 618 i think um what else need to start learning like the the triangles i'm going to start playing with that stuff i plotted some stuff but i'm not confident if it's right so i don't want to look foolish but i did plot some stuff um so i kind of the way i learned is i learned the thing right I put it into motion. So I do it in real, in real life. And then I wait and see if it materializes and comes true. And I just do that over and over again until I start to learn patterns or just get the skill down. So that's what I'm working on right now. Just learning technicals and tracking Paribus and trading with it. So again, if you want to learn, Oh, look at the watch list and look at our rank, man. We're true. Man, we're moving, man. That's so cool. Another cool thing about the Paribus videos that I'm doing is I'm making it a point to go to this page to show you that watch list, to show you that rank, to see the changes that are being made, the, the movement, the price movement, where we're going. So hopefully you appreciate that because I'm using that myself. But uh, yeah, again, thank you for checking out the video. And we will see you on the next one. Peace.